Well, hello there, happy Friday. We made it to Friday. So that means because it's Friday, we finished all of the lessons for this week. So we're gonna do a quick review and then you'll be able to, to, to do your quiz and show me what you learned about subtracting to compare in word problems. Here we go. Subtract to compare in word problems. Here's our first problem for today. So it looks like we need to do 10 take away what equals what? Well, I know how many circles do I have on top? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there are 10 on top. So the 10 is in red. How many yellows do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to solve 10 take away six. And 10 take away six leaves us with how many circles? Four. So 10 take away six is four. Now let's look at the next problem. So we have seven red circles. How many yellow? Three. And when we solve 10 take away three, we have this many left over. Because these are the ones that don't match up. And we have four. So seven take away three is also four. Let's look at our next problem. It says Clara has seven fish. Pat has six fish. How many more fish does Clara have? Let's get our highlighter and highlight the important information. So we know Clara has seven fish. How many fish? Seven. And we know that Pat has six fish. How many? Six. And the question is asking, how many more fish does Clara have? So how many fish do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this, these are Clara's fish. So I'm gonna write a C for Clara. That means Pat is down here. How many fish does Pat have? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means we need to solve seven take away six, which is right here. Now, if we match them up, let's use a different color to match them up. How many will we have left over? That will be our answer. We have one left over. So Clara has one more fish than Pat. There are two circles and nine squares. How many fewer circles? Well, let's get our highlighter and highlight the important information. It says there are two circles and nine squares. And the question is how many fewer circles? So what we need to do, since there are nine squares, I have nine blue squares. So we have nine, take away the two yellow circles. So if we match them up, we will have this many left over. So we need to count how many squares this is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven squares that are not matched. So that means nine take away two is seven. So there are seven fewer circles. Let's look at this next problem. Maya has three blue beads. She has six green beads. How many more green beads does she have? Let's take our highlighter and highlight the important information. So we know the problem is about Maya and her blue beads and her green beads. How many blue beads does she have? Three, and she has six green beads. 
And the question is asking, how many more green beads does she have? And we're going to circle our answer out of these options. So let's solve this first and make our equation. So we want to find out how many more. So in order to subtract, we're going to have to take away the six green beads. So six, take away the three blue beads. Now let's match them. One, two, three. And now how many do I have left over? Three green beads, which means our answer is three. So that means she has three more green beads. Here's our last problem for today. And then you'll be able to practice and do your quiz. It says, draw a model to help you solve this problem. We already had a model drawn. Nine forks and three spoons. How many more forks? Well, let's highlight the important information. It says there are, it's about forks and there are nine of them. Look over here, we have our nine forks in yellow. There are also spoons, how many? Three. And the question is asking, how many more forks? So in order to solve this problem, let's plug in our numbers to the equation. So we need to solve nine, take away three, so we have nine forks and we're taking away three. So let's match them up. One, two, three. And how many do I have left over? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six left over, which means nine take away three is six. So there are six more forks. If we wanted to check our answer, you could add three and six together. If we added these two numbers, we would get nine as our answer. So if I put six in my head and count on by three, I will get nine. So let's try it. Put six in your calculator. So six, seven, eight, nine, and I got nine, which means this answer is correct. So there are six more forks. And that is the end of our slideshow for today. So now it's your turn to show me what you've learned with subtracting to compare in word problems. So today you have your quiz to take, I want you to try your best, and if you have any questions, you can always email me for help. But because it's a quiz, I need you to try your best before asking for help. I know you'll rock it, you always do. So as long as you try your best, you're all set. And if we still have a little trouble, we can always go back and relearn this. We have the time. All right, I wish you good luck. And again, if you have any questions, your parent can always email me, give me a phone call, or text me. I'm always ready to help. I hope you have an excellent weekend and you're doing lots of fun things while staying at home and safe and healthy. All right, I miss you very, very, very much and I hope to see you very soon. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.